Welcome to Chalkyo on the world, and we're headed to Grand Cash. So we're driving down south on uh, heading to Grand Cache on Highway 43 um, and I saw this little turnout. Uh, it's by Sheeps Creek Provincial Recreational Area. It's actually the Little Smoky River. Uh, we took this little turn off and parked off on the road and uh, after we walked in we found out that this was uh, a Crown Land camping spot. What a spot this is. I mean, we're going to head down south continuing. We're not going to stop here, but I just wanted to show you guys this uh, this area. So my wife will take you around here. But what a view. I mean, if we're going to sleep here the night, I wouldn't have a problem here either. So check it out. Check out this whole area. Welcome to Grand Cash. We made Max and I got a little fire going, but we made Max a little supper. A little chicken, a little cucumber, a little corn, and a little raspberry just to give him a little flavor, but nothing in there with salt or nothing. So we try to give him a little bit of healthy. Once in a while we let him splurge. But we are at Sulphur Mountain Gate. Uh, it's about uh, 10 clicks outside of Grand Cash. And look at this beautiful place. Um, it is a paid campground. It is run by the provincial uh, government of Alberta. So it's about $31 a night for self-registration. Uh, they have about, from my count, it was about 12 sites on site. So it's a pretty nice place. It's pretty secluded. And uh, we're just starting to make supper. Tomorrow we're gonna go on a hike. Uh, yeah, so come along. 
for a little bit of the food adventures. A little perfect corn who doesn't like corn on the fire this is what we got going on now yeah. hi honey what are you making oh so for all you guys don't know we made that sumtum with papaya salad last time no. but now we have cucumber like i said sumtum we can eat this stuff all day
We're headed into the trail. This is Will access <coughs> to Wilmore Pass. Uh, this goes actually to Big Burland uh, Lake uh, Provincial Park there. Big Burland Provincial Park and also uh, there's another lake there that it meets up with. This is a whole circuit for hiking. But we're just going to try to get out to Eaton Falls here. It's about a six kilometer hike. Of course, when you're hiking, make sure you have the gear. I got some uh, some heavy uh, artillery here, but we also have uh, bear spray uh, on hand as well. And you also want to be a little bit noisy when you're walking the trails, just because then the animals know you're in the area. And also, if you got animals, keep them on a leash. Eh? We don't want to. We don't want them to be running around because to these guys. Uh, these animals in the bush here, the, uh, the, these guys could be considered prey, right? out Wilmore Pass we're about uh, four four kilometers in just took a little detour off the road and check out the view my lord it is God's painting <laughs> Wow check out the scenery right here but the best part is right here look at this look at this right here So, after about a two hours hike to, well, maybe an hour and 40 minutes, uh, we did six kilometers. This is Eaton Falls, summertime, that thing comes down. Right now you can see a little bit of water right there running. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there it is coming down and down. That is fresh spring mountain water. And if it was running, I think I might put my cup there. But for sure, we're definitely gonna be using it for pasta. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit of lunch here. People have obviously spent the day or the night camping here. Um, so we're gonna set up right here. Yeah. I'll just show you guys around a little bit. So this is called Eaton Falls. This is in the Wilmore Pass. Uh, starting from, starting from Sulphur Mountain Provincial Park or a recreational area. Oh my. I'm making, I'm making, I'm making, I'm making, go. You cannot, you can donate, I'm gonna lie. Good, honey. Oh, oh. 
This is mountain spring fresh water. Wow. You ain't gonna get anything better. So that's good. Maxie. I have my bathing suit. I'd probably go sit right in here. <laughs> Maxie. Maxie cook you loud. Maxie wants a drink too. Yeah, so she the best thing about drinking water from the mountains, guess what? All the vitamins and all the minerals are in it. So give it a try. Don't be afraid. As long as it's running, and we can clearly see that it's been running coming down the mountain. The earth is naturally filtering. It's still running. So we know that it's, it's not settling. Ah. After a six kilometer hike, I tell ya. How you feel? better. I feel excellent, honey. We're gonna sit here, I'm gonna cook a little bit. Right in the middle of the waterfall. It's frozen. On the trail, food. Pesto pasta, delicious. Some dried tomatoes, oh my lord. Can't beat it. Caribou country. Uh, we are about 30 kilometers south of Grand Cache, Alberta. Um, this is called Lone Teepee Creek. Uh, if you see the sign on the highway to the right of the highway, if you head it south, uh, there's random camping down by the creek. And also, if you come across, look at the left side when you're headed south, uh, you can see this whole area here. This is random uh, back country camping, crown land camping free for everyone uh, that wants to come out uh, and, and enjoy the wilderness here. This is actually one of the best highways that I've been as far as scenic wise. Uh, it's very beautiful up here uh, but I'm really impressed with the infrastructure for the Crown Land Camping. Uh, they have it up and down the roads pretty much everywhere. We were, we were up here about maybe 10 kilometers and there's another spot uh, that has random Crown Land Camping so check out this highway if you're into wilderness and uh, have a stop at Caribou Country. Situated between uh, William Switzler Provincial Park, which is about 10 kilometers more uh, to the south of us, towards Hinton, and then if you go to uh, to the west of us here, is called Rock Lake uh, Solomon Creek Wildland. Okay, so we're just driving down the highway, headed south towards uh, William Switzer. Uh, to go check out Greg Lake Campground and I saw this trailer parked on the side of the road I said hey let's check it out maybe this is another Crown Land camp campsite well sure enough we've run into it and guess what somebody was here prior cut us some firewood uh, we're gonna park ourselves right here uh, we got a fire pit right here right down by the river let's check this out beautiful spot beautiful view I mean I'm gonna sleep well tonight from the sound of that river running so one thing about this river there is whirling disease so if you're gonna go canoeing or taking uh, 
uh, whatever activity, water activities, you got to make sure you bathe yourself and wash your stuff so that it doesn't transplant from one body of water to another. So just another thought. There are signs posted. Make sure you uh, you read the signs. So I got a little new toy that we're going to check out. This is my new toy. Oh, it's a folding table. Check it out. Oh my. Good. I'm liking the look of this already. Look at this. What's up? Pop those, pop those. Oh, we got a hole for an umbrella? My first sit. Yeah. Not a bad find. Not a bad buy. For what we're doing, this is pretty good. Pretty sturdy. It gives us a place to cook, a place to work, and a place to enjoy the scenery and the fire. Well, it's supper time at camp. Get the fire going. Wife's be making. Oh, yum nam. Kao tot, kap. Yum nam. Kao tot, kap. This is so delicious. It's a wrap, it's a rice wrap with a uh, Laos or Isan sausage cured ham, cilantro, mint, lettuce, peanuts, some jalapenos, garlic, chilies, lime, fish sauce, sugar, and of course we have a little bit of leftover beer from yesterday. And my wife, what are you making now, honey? Yum. Tale. Yum tale. Yum tale. Oh, that's seafood with mama noodle. Okay, we're making yum tale. So it's another salad. Mmm. Well, guys, didn't ask for a last, better last day of the trip. My wife made some awesome Thai food. Yum nam kao tot. This is yum tale. This is a seafood salad with the noodles. Okay, and this is a, a, a rice with uh, Nam wrap with all the herbs, buddy, killer.